Hi guys, it's Syl from Sylvia Chi Eatery. I get a lot of questions about what people should be packing when they go visit Japan. So today I put together a packing video so that way you can have some help for when you go. The first thing you need that's really important is good luggage. I always take my favorite, which is Calpac, and I'm using the Astel for this video, which is a really, really pretty marble luggage. It's one of my favorites. Another cool thing about Calpac is that they offer these really cool packing cubes like this. Um, you can put all sorts of things in it. It makes packing super, super easy. And also there's little labels that you can put on it. And they come in all different colors and designs. They're really cool. I'm obsessed with the packing cube. Another good thing to have besides rolly luggage is a really good weekender. This one is from MRKT. It has a shoulder strap and it has little carrying straps and it's gonna fit a lot of stuff, which is really useful. The flight to Japan from LA is approximately about like 11 hours, 11 to 12. And if you have a tendency to get air sick, Drama me and saves your life. Another thing that saved me on the plane are these headphones. They're wireless and they are noise canceling, which means I can't hear none of your bull. In Japan, you walk a lot, like a lot. Once I calculated it, I walked like 15 miles in one day. So it's important to have really good shoes. So make sure you get a pair of walking shoes. Girls in Tokyo somehow wear heels all the time and walk for 15 miles, and I don't know how they do it, but she. Since you're walking everywhere in Japan, it's really important to have a really comfortable and sort of big bag to carry around. I know a lot of girls, especially in the US, carry smaller purses, but if you're carrying you know, a hand towel, all of your electronics, um, water bottles, drinks that you buy at the vending machine, it's important to have bags. I usually will take a tote bag, or there's also these really cute backpacks, mini backpacks, regular backpacks, basically anything you can fit in, bring it. As far as what to wear, in the summer it's really hot and humid, so you want to wear something breathable and light, and maybe even some light layers, because sometimes it cools down a little bit and it does rain. In the winter time, it gets cold, so you want to bring layers and coats. Just remember that in the summer and the winter, even though it's extremely hot outside, it'll probably be the complete opposite inside. So layers are key and try not to get sick from like the extreme changes of hot and cold in one day. On the electronic side, if you are visiting, you definitely want to get a pocket Wi-Fi. If you're like me and you're on your phone a lot, you are definitely going to need one of these, which is a external battery pack. Plug it in phone. For the battery pack, you wanna plug your phone into it, so you're definitely gonna need cords. Lots of cords. Since you're walking a lot, I always like to have really easy headphones, so that way I can plug it in, listen to it on the train or when I'm walking. And fun-wise for your phone, I have these clip-on uh, wide-angle lenses. They just go straight over it, super easy. And then you can take like really cool wide angle photos. I also have one that's fisheye, and I also have one that is macro, and it's less than $20 on Amazon, so go into the description and I'll put a link. Another thing you probably wanna take along is a camera. Usually I take along this one, it's smaller and lighter and easier to take, and it shoots really great video and really great photos. So Japanese money does have bills, but there also are a ton of change. Like they're what is equivalent to our $1 and $5 bills are coins. That's 10 cents, like this. So it is important to either have a coin purse where you can keep all of them because you will have a lot of coins or have a wallet that has space for coins. For the train system, you could also buy solo tickets, but I use a Pasmo or a Suica card, which is just a little card that you load money onto, so that way you could kind of like slap it on the machine so you could get through it quickly. It's sort of annoying if you have to take out your wallet every time, so I have it on this like retractable thing, which is actually really useful. So I attach this to my bag and then I can just pull it out, slap it on the thing, and get on the train. 
A lot of people don't know that in a lot of Japanese bathrooms, they don't always have paper towels. It's a pretty green country. And sometimes they have like the electric hand dryers, but not always. But one thing that people do carry around a lot are these little, cute little hand towels. They're really useful. You can use them for everything. If you're going in the summer, there's two things that you really need. One is bug spray, or you'll get eaten alive by mosquitoes. And another thing is a fan, because it's really, really hot and humid. And that wraps it up for my packing video today. If there's anything I forgot to mention, let me know in the comments. And also make sure to subscribe to follow along for more food and travel adventures. Thank you.